Hey guys, so I wanted to make this video and it's very important to me. You know, normally in my channel, I do couponing videos, um, mainly coupon for my family. I do a cook with me, weekly grocery hauls, everyday life events I upload, you know, just to bring you along into my family and our world. And the past couple of days, I've not uploaded any videos because um, I watched a documentary on Sunday and it really, it really affected me. And I don't know how to describe it, what words to use or how to articulate what this documentary did to me and I feel like it's important that we talk about it that we spread more awareness because it seems like every year I feel like it's getting worse and this documentary that I watched, um, it's called the, it's on Netflix. Um, it's a very hard document to watch. I can tell you that for sure. Um, it was hard. It was a hard day that Sunday when I watched it. And it's called the, um, Trials of Gabriel Fernandez. I don't really want to relive it and talk about the documentary a lot but basically it's about an eight year old who was murdered by his and I don't even I don't even want to call her a mother I guess the person who gave birth to him because a mother you nurture you protect you take care of your child you know you 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 give birth and even if you're a stepmother a foster mom uh, a mom that gave birth birth mother you you have a true mother will have that sense of wanting to protect wanting to care wanting to nurture that innocent life and she didn't she didn't do that she she helped in taking away his life so I don't even want to call her that the person who gave birth to this child it's said that it's one of the worst child abuse history in the United States and unfortunately his case and there's several other cases and that's why I'm saying that this is happening more and more and more and I just don't understand it. and this documentary shed light on how the system failed you know the teacher saw all of this that was going on and she called so many times and it got to the point where he even asked her not to call anymore because it was getting he gets punished and it just shows how broken the system is and how the system failed this child and how the system has failed many other children that had lost their lives because they kept them in this environment that was not healthy that there was abuse neglect going on and they let it happen because they think that some that it's better that a child stays with their biological parents and I'm sorry but I have to disagree if there is obvious signs of abuse and this child is is withering away in front of you and you see all of these marks and you, you still think it's okay to leave a child there I'm sorry that's not right there are so many people that would give anything to have their own children and they can't. So the next step is fostering, adopting, 
when all else have failed. And there's so many people that will give a loving home to these children and will protect them. Why are we keeping them in this environment? I don't understand. So like I said, this really hit me because, you know, I do... have my own kids and I would die for my kids to protect them and all I want for my kids is to be safe to be nurtured you know to have a good environment and I don't understand why why these kids went through what they went through you know so I did some research yesterday and I am I signed up for a class to volunteer and basically what this program is it's called um, a court appointed child advocate so basically what you do is you go behind the social worker you make sure that everything is being done right you 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 are only allowed to work one case at a time so that way you can give it your all um you have to make sure that if the child needed medical attention that it is taken care of if the child is struggling in class that um you can you're you're in communication with the teacher um, with the medical staff you're in communication with the judge the caseworker everybody who is involved in this child's case that you're assigned to and it's one of those that um, you know you have to go to the orientation first there's a packet that you have to fill out you have to do a background check you have to get interviewed and then the last step is getting certified to take this uh, take this class and it's it's taught by uh, the judge they're taught by CPS workers social workers medical staff and they all show you like how to look for the signs how to you know make sure that it is that this child is being abused whether it's physical or mentally you know and then you you know you, you get um, mentored by somebody who's been doing it so they can show you like how to how to work these cases and so I signed up for it I go later on this month and I do the orientation I already have the packet ready and I just wanted to make this video I, I I couldn't bring myself to just do a put on a happy face when I know that this has really bothered me so I wanted to make this video and and hopefully reach and and get spread the word even if you don't want to even if you can't volunteer or you don't want to volunteer at least if you can you know donate or if you see something and you know it's not right call it in you you never know you could be saving that child's life but I, I, I just wanted to do this video and get it out there and and upload it but I will definitely upload some videos uh, once I do the class just for those who are interested and want to see my experience first before deciding whether or not you want to do this whether you want to volunteer or not you know you can volunteer as much or as little as you can but for sure they will give you one case at a time to work on and then if you if you work on it and you decide it's not for you you can step away it's not mandatory you don't have to do it um, you don't have to to 
continue. But if you find other ways, maybe a big brother, big sister organization, something. Um, but I just wanted to talk about this and kind of raise more awareness and speak up for these children that are trying, that are screaming, their bodies are screaming for help and they're being ignored or being passed off as it's nothing. So anyways, I just wanted to to talk about this and let y'all know that I am going to volunteer. Uh, I have the orientation scheduled for the 30th of March. So I will continue to upload my videos and my my couponing videos and my weekly hauls and my everyday life but I wanted to make this video by itself because it's important to me and I'm going to pin it on my channel. Um, the more awareness we can raise the better but anyways uh, as soon as I get to the orientation I will definitely upload a video for those who are maybe interested but want to see me go through it first so I can better describe it but from what I read, that's basically, in a nutshell, you just make sure that there's nothing that slips through the cracks. That all the, the, the I's are dotted, the T's are crossed, everything is, is being handled appropriately so that we can avoid tragedies like these, like Gabriel Fernandez, all these other children that have been murdered by their own family all because the system failed them so anyways I gotta go into work and get this day started but I just wanted to share my thoughts and my feelings about this and if you watch this documentary you will definitely understand why I feel the way I feel so Hope you guys have a great one and I will be back with another video soon. Talk to you later. Bye.